Okay, welcome to episode nine of Your Charisma Coach and the third and final part on how to develop and boost your self-esteem. Self-esteem is super important in allowing yourself to become more assertive. When you've got high self-esteem, starting conversations, being the life and soul of the party is so much easier. So each of the examples we are gonna to cover today and all the examples we covered so far in this series all serve to promote your story, to add to that cool story of who you are. So without further ado, let's get on. <laughs> First up, have a think about the things you appreciate in life, because thinking about them will make you feel good. There's lots of stuff that makes you feel good, and the best way to do it to find out is to make a list. So, here's my list of 25 things that I really enjoy. Do the same. For example, I'm grateful for having a nephew, even though he's a vegetarian. I'm also grateful for having an older brother, even though his tattooed arms are more masculine than mine can ever hope to be. Right, this is going to take a while like this. Let's speed it up. Here's a list of random things I like about life. Exercise. Dublin Brooks. <laughs> Sushi. Old fashioned telephone books. Stair rails. Amusing place names. Amusing slogans. Sofa King. Where well, the prices are so freaking low. Kittens. Treats. Climbing treats. Yeah. Meadows. Tops of mountains. Warm sandy beaches. Cityscapes at night. Hamlets. Cliche ancient photos. Deck chairs. Barbecues. Random high fives. High five. Not being dead. So when you feel down, get your esteem up by reminding yourself of the stuff you love in life. In society, a lot of things are done for us. It's very rare that we have to take responsibility for ourselves, for our environment, or even for other people. But when we do, that taking responsibility, that taking of control, builds our self-esteem. Here's some examples. So that trolley has been here for the last three years. Every time I walk across this bridge, that trolley is always there. So I've got to take responsibility for my environment. No one else is going to do it, and I want to be the change I want to see in the world. So when the water levels drops a bit, I'm going to go and get that trolley, even though it's going to be a monumental pain in the bum to do. So I finally got down here to get rid of that shopping cart, and unfortunately, some do gooder has beat me to it and taken it away. So, come on, points for them, but now I've got to go and find another trolley. Doo! All right, so I found the trolley. So now I've got to go and get out before these waders letting all the water in my feet get soaking, which is happening right now. So, Done for today. Tidy up the environment a bit. Another thing I've got to be responsible for is my tummy. Oh, it's not very good at the moment, it's looking a little bit flabby. So, this is my friend the Prowler. This is the most humbling piece of torturous equipment known to man. Got to take responsibility, got to get rid of my tummy, got to put in the work to do it. Here I go. Not very good stop.
Come on, just take this! cause and have no idea what it's going on about. I have not got a clue, but here I am. Um, something about violence, so I better run off a bit quick. Now, I was thinking, well, what course can I fight? Is there anything that really tickles my fancy? Um, and the more I thought about it, I thought, well, maybe championing a course would be better. So the course I'm here uh, tonight to champion is Critical Mass. This is when a huge group of cyclists take over the streets of London and we reclaim the streets for a few hours and we just ride around in this huge mass of people. Everyone here has got the same mindset and I've met some really cool people. I've met a giant Christmas tree. And the, the thing is, though, whenever you fight a cause, you're going to become opinionated, okay? You're going to put yourself up for shooting down. So some people, like motorists, they don't like what we're doing here. Now, not all of them, but taxi drivers, oh, they're going to tear their hair up. And whenever you fight a course, that's going to happen. But what it does, it makes you feel great. So I'm with loads of like-minded people, and uh, I'm just doing something different in, let me just state, minus four degrees temperature. I'm freezing here, but I'm so glad I came. Even though it's freezing, I've got to say this is probably one of the most fun things I've done in a long time. Uh, there's about 300 of us out here now and uh, we're all out for the same reason, which is just to have fun and uh, take over the streets for a bit. Well, as the night's gone on, it's just got better and better. Um, I don't feel as cold anymore, which is good, but everyone's here, we're all sort of under the same banner. Um, and we're united by that. There's a real feeling of camaraderie and this automatic connection with everyone else out cycling. Uh, I haven't felt that sort of sense of belonging uh, since I was part of a team like at Scouts or something way back then. So if you're feeling low self-esteem, come out, do something where you belong to something bigger. It'll make you feel great. It was easier to stay at home today, but I'm glad I came out because I had so much fun. It was brilliant. Time is one of the most valuable assets you have, if not the most valuable asset you have. And giving your time up for things you're passionate about can only help to make you feel good. So not only do you meet loads of people who've got the same sort of mindset as you, which is really good, and you get to sort of have loads of opportunities open up to you, um, you're putting in time in projects that you care about. And at the end of the day, you'll feel good about. Now today, I'm in Chobham Common and we're clearing all this land. This is Heathland. This is the rarest habitat in the British Isles. And when I was doing geography, I was always really passionate about it. So today, I'm coming down here to clear this land to return it to Heathland. Um, it's really hard graft. But, you know, it's all just about giving up a bit of time, putting on some dirty clothes, coming down here, doing a bit of work. And I'm going to leave today feeling really good because I think, yeah, I made a bit of a difference. Building stuff allows you to take control of your reality by building, shaping and developing it. It doesn't matter what you build, you can build small stuff, big stuff but just having to face challenges, overcoming things, and creating something in the world that may remain forever, or even a very short period of time, creates that feeling of well-being inside yourself. So it's something awesome to do. You can build snowmen. As you can see, we've had a bit of snow here on the outskirts of London. I'm really enjoying it. My fingers are gonna drop off as we speak. So all I've got to do is just put old Frosty's hat on. Hey, pimping it out there. And, um, and I'll tell you what, right? It's only a snowman. That was well satisfying to build. I do like his little hands. I think they're a very cheeky touch. You don't just have to build snowmen. Uh, I spend a lot of time building and developing my coaching business and, uh, you know, hopefully to leave a legacy, to put an imprint out there in the world. And a lot of my time goes onto that, but I'm slowly creating. Now, most of my business is on a computer. It's online, so it's not really something tangible that you can see, but it is there. It's on the internet. It's more virtual. But again, this process of creating builds your self-esteem. Even if you do have many late nights and your breakfast is a bag of Doritos, which could be bad. Yeah. So all those examples are there to help you and serve as a guide that you can put into action yourself. It's no good just watching them. It's all about taking action to go out and do it, to face those challenges and boost your self-esteem in the process. So I hope you enjoyed it. Look forward to seeing you in the next episode of Your Charisma Coach.